the hundred thousand songs of Milarepa, Volume Two. Rechungpa's journey to Vu W E U. Obeisance to all gurus by the invitation of his patrons in Nyanun, who provided perfect food and service. Jatsang Milarepa dwelt in the belly cave, while Rechungpa stayed in another cave above it. At one time, the gurus, patrons, buddhas, and dakinis all revealed themselves. to rechungpa in his dreams persuading him to ask the jatsang to relate his life story after milarepa had done so rechungpa earned to go to central tibet that is vu w e u at that time some patrons said compare the father milarepa with the son rechungpa the son seems to be far superior because he has been in india Then the younger people all went to Rechungpa, while the older ones came to the Jatsang. One day, many patrons arrived. They brought Rechungpa fine and bountiful food, but gave Milarepa only meager offerings. Not knowing this, Rechungpa thought, since they have brought me such good food, they must have made even better offerings to the Jatsang. He went to Milarepa and said, "Dear Jatsang, haven't we received fine offerings today? With all this food." we can hold a sacramental feast with all the repas still we do so very well replied rechungpa you will find my share under that slab of stone take and use it but rechungpa found only a portion of rotten meat a bottle of sour beer and a small quantity of barley flour on his way back rechungpa thought is this fitting of those patrons compared with my buddha like guru i am nothing I cannot match a single hair of his head, even with my whole body. But now, these ignorant patrons are doing this foolish thing. Hitherto, I have been living with my guru, and receiving all the instructions from him. My intention was to go on living with him, so that I could serve and please him. But as things stand now, if I stay with him too long, I will only become a hindrance and stand in his way. thus instead of being a helper i will become a competitor i ought to ask his permission to leave very early next morning rechungpa went to see the jatsang he noticed that milarepa was sleeping with his head hidden under his arms like a bird megon repa was also asleep in his bed rechungpa thought concerning self achievement my guru has completely realized the dharmakaya and as to altruism does he not at times practice it like a bird knowing that rechungpa was thinking the jatsang sang a song called the four activities listen with care my son rechungpa your old father mila sometimes sleeps but in sleeping he also practices for he knows how to illumine blindness but now all men know his instruction i shall be happy if all can share this teaching your old father mila sometimes eats but in eating he also practices for he knows how to identify his food and drink with the holy feast but not all men know this instruction i shall be happy if all can share this teaching sometimes your old father mila walks but in marching he also practices for he knows that walking is to circle round the buddhas but not all men know this instruction i shall be happy if all can share this teaching rechungpa you should also practice in this way get up megon megom it is time to make some broth in asking the jatsang's permission to leave rechungpa gave many reasons for going to central china central tibet going to central tibet view at the end of his petition he sang to visit different places and journey to various lands to circumambulate holy lasha see the two divine faces of jo shag visit the saintly samye temple circle round the yuru kradrag visit the seat of marngo sightsee at nyal and loro and to beg for arms i must go to view milarepa replied my son although you will have disciples in view central tibet the time has not yet come for you to go there please do not go against your guru's wish but listen to this song born for the supreme and skillful path of secret words he is the jatsang buddha disguised 
in human forms possessing the divine four bodies the embodiment of blisses for to him the great marpa i pay sincerest homage on this early morning of the auspicious 8th the dawning sun like a crystal ball of fire radiates its warm and brilliant beams i the yogi feel very well and happy sun reaching pa as people have well said you are the spear holder of a hundred soldiers please do not talk like this but control your mind try to cleanse it as a mirror bright and lend your ear to this old man when you live in a quiet hermitage why think about staying in other lands since you meditate on your buddha guru why need you circle lasha while you watch your mind at play why need you see samya temple if you have annihilated doubts within why you need you visit marngo since you practice the whispered lineage teachings why need you sight see at loro and nyan if you observe with penetration your self mind why need you circumambulate the kradrag but rechung pa still kept on pressing his request whereupon the jetsang san it is good for you the white lion on the mountain to stay high and never go deep into the valley lest your beautiful mane be sullied to keep it in good order you should remain on the high snow mountain rechung pa harken to my words today it is good for you the great eagle on high rocks to perch and never fall into a pit lest your mighty wings be damaged to keep them in good order you should remain in the high hills rechung pa harken to your guru's words it is good for you the jungle tiger to stay in the deep forest if you rove about the plain you will lose your dignity to keep your splendor in perfection in the forest you should remain rechung pa harken to your guru's words it is good for you the golden eyed fish to swim in the central sea if you swim too close to shore you will in a net be caught you should remain in the deep waters rechung pa harken to your guru's words it is good rechung rechung dordra of guntang for you to stay in the hermitages if you wander in different places your experience and realization will dim to protect and cultivate devotion you should remain in the mountains rechung pa harken to your guru's words dear guru if i stay too long with you i shall become a hindrance rather than a help countered rechung pa it is also for the sake of furthering my experience and realization that i want to go to different countries and he sang hear me my father jetsang if i the white lion on the snow mountain do not rise up and act how can i glorify my splendid mane rechung pa wants not to remain but to visit view i beg your permission dip to depart today if i the e- giant, great eagle king of birds do not fly high into the firmament how can i magnify my mighty wings rechung pa wants not to remain but to visit view i beg my guru's permission to depart today if i the great tiger the jungle lord do not rove in the deep forest how can i better my grand smile rechung pa wants not to remain but to visit liu i beg your permission to depart today if i the fish in the deep ocean swim not to the ocean's edge if i can never sharpen my golden eyes rechung pa wants not to remain but to visit view i beg my guru's permission to depart today if i rechung dordra of guntang travel not to different countries i can never improve my experience and realization rechung pa wants not to remain but to visit liu i beg your par- permission to depart today the jetsang then said rechung pa before you have reached the ultimate realization it would be far better for you to stay with me and not go away now listen to this song listen rechung pa dorje drapa the well learned buddhist scholar listen and think with care on what i say before faith and earning earning arise for dharma beg not arms for mere enjoyment 
before you have realized primordial truth boast not of your sublime philosophy before you have fully mastered the awareness within engage not in blind and foolish acts before you can feed on the instructions involve not yourself in wicked occultism before you can explain the profound teachings be not beguiled by partial knowledge before you can increase your merits dispute not over others goods before you can destroy your inner cravings treat not charity as if it were your right before you can stop projecting habitual thoughts guess not when you make predictions before you have gained supreme enlightenment assume not that you are a venerable lama before you can master all virtues and practices consider not leaving your guru san rechungpa it is better not to go but stay in spite of the jatsang's attempted dissuasion rechungpa was still bent on going milrepa then said it seems that you will not take my advice but have made up your mind to leave well although once i promised our pratians not to let you go to view and swore to it all oaths are like phantoms and dreams so i will now grant you request grant your request and let you go you may make your preparations at once rechungpa was so delighted that he almost cried he then stayed with the jatsang for a few more days to learn more peeth instructions and to copy some scriptures at the time of his departure rechungpa dressed very simply in a cotton robe he put the ahru that's drug of bhamen and the trident on his back put the scriptures of the whispered succession under his arm and came to jatsang for his farewell blessing milrepa thought rechungpa has lived with me for such a long time after this separation we may never meet again with this thought in his mind he escorted rechungpa for a distance when they came to the crest of a hill he asked how will you walk on your way rechungpa sang in answer using the dharma view as a simile i walk forward in the manifestation void with no thought of nihilism or realism i walk ahead following the immutable path i walk straight on though my understanding may be poor i have no regret under the dharma practice as a simile i march forward in the bliss illumination neither drowsy nor distracted i march ahead following the path of light i march straight on though my practice may be poor i have no regret using the dharma action as a simile i walk forward in the discipline without foolish talk i walk ahead following the path of non clinging i walk straight on though my action may be poor i have no regret using the dharma of samaya as a simile i walk forward in purity without hypocrisy and circumvention i walk ahead in the path of straight forwardness i walk straight on though my disciple my discipline may be poor i have no regret using the accomplishment of dharma as a simile i march forward in eminence without fear and hope i march ahead in the path of the four bodies i march straight on though my accomplishment may be small i have no regret using the jatsang marpa as a simile i walk forward in a whispered lineage without talk and words i walk ahead following the path of peeth instruction i walk straight on though my spiritual provision is meager i have no regret using my guru marpa as a simile i march forward in fortitude without laziness and sloth i march ahead in the path of diligence i march straight on though my perseverance may be small i have no regret using myself rechungpa as a simile i walk forward in the way of the gifted ones without deviation and wrong thoughts i walk ahead in the path of veneration i walk straight on though my prayer may be feeble i have no regret your understanding is very good milrepa replied but you should know that a child grows better with his mother with its mother an egg ripens quicker in a warm place and a yogi will never go astray if he lives lives with his guru now you will not listen to my advice but insist upon going away 
With my pity and love, I will never forsake you. You should also pray constantly to me. When Rechungpa heard these words, he shed many tears. Then he said, I shall never at any time lose the faith and conviction that my Jatsang is Buddha himself. So far, I have had no other guru but you. Hereafter, before I attain perfect Buddhahood, I will look to no other guru. In the state of Bardo after this life, please also protect and escort me. Whereupon he sang, Pray my Buddha Guru, the ever compassionate one. Pray escort your son Rechungpa. When I climb the mountain of the view, I see the traps of realism and nihilism, the bandits of bigotry in ambush, and the twin roads steep and perilous. Pray my father Guru Buddha's Nirmanakaya. Pray escort and protect me until I reach perfection's road. When I climb the mountain of practice, I see the snares of drowsiness and distraction, the perilous passage of constraint and the danger of misleading, wandering thoughts. Pray my father Guru Buddha's Nirmanakaya. Pray escort and protect me until I reach non-being's plane. When I climb the mountain of action, I see my old companion desire, debauchery, perilous path and the strong robberer frivolity. Pray my father Guru Buddha's Nirmanakaya. Pray escort and protect me until I reach. The pass of freedom and spontaneity. When I build the castle of Samaya, I see my knowledge is insufficient, that my assistant is incompetent and that great are the dangers of discordance. Pray my father Guru, the Buddha's Nirmanakaya, pray escort and protect me until I reach the pure base of non-existence. When I reflect on the accomplishment, I can see the long road of samsara, the perilous passage of nirvana and the savage bandits of hope and fear. Pray my father Guru, the Buddha's Nirmanakaya, pray escort and protect me until I reach the home of the four bodies. Great is Rechungpa's wish for travel. Great his desire for pleasure and for comfort. People in Tibet are impious. The thief of hypocrisy is ready now to act. Pray my father Guru, Buddha's Nirmanakaya, pray escort and protect me until I return home from my journey. For your auspicious and successful trip, said the Jetsang, I shall sing you in farewell. Do you know what my transmission is? It is not bad but good. It is the transmission of Dorje Chang. May it bring good fortune and success. May my son Rechungpa be blessed with good luck. Do you know who my patron Buddha is? She is not bad but good. She is the holy Dorje Pauma. May she bring good fortune and success. May my son Rechungpa be blessed with good luck. Do you know who are my guards? They are not bad but good. They are the Magaun brothers and sisters. May they bring great good fortune and success. May my son Rechungpa be blessed with good luck. May the view, the practice and the action all bless you, my son Rechungpa. May the principle, the path and the accomplishment all bless you, my son Rechungpa. May the Sa, the Lun and the Tigli all bless you, my son Rechungpa. May the bliss the illumination and non-thought all bless you, my son Rechungpa. Most true is the Buddha, most true. The Dharma and the Sangha, may these three gems bless you forever, my son Rechungpa. Do you know who I am? I am called Milarepa. May all Mila's blessings fall upon his son. May Rechungpa soon exceed his father. The Jetsang continued. In central Tibet, view a bitch will catch your feet. At that time, do not forget your guru and your meditation. Rechungpa circled and prostrated before the Jatsang many times and then set out on his journey. In the meantime, Milarepa thought, Rechungpa will probably look back at me. If I do not stay here, he will be very disappointed when he finds me gone. I had better remain I had better remain for a while. So he sat down but Rechungpa never turned his head. Milarepa wondered, why does he not look back? Does he have any wrong ideas about his guru and his brothers? At any rate, he is a man who can keep the dharma and the succession secret wherever he goes. Then holding his breath, Milarepa flew ahead 
and overtaking Rechung but transformed himself into seven identical repas standing before a huge rock shaped lion rock shaped like a rearing lion in order to test rechungpa's intention the seven repas all sang together listen repa traveler who are you and who is your guru who are your four bears what instruction do you know which is your transmission what meditation do you practice where is your temple what is this mountain can you name this rock whether whither are you bound by whose order do you travel and in what way do you go rechungpa thought no other repa would say things like this to me they must be the transformation of the jetsang he then prostrated himself before the repas and sang hear me my great jetsang father you ask who i am my name is rechungpa from gungtang my guru is milrepa my four bears marpa and gnopa my great grandfathers tilopa and naropa my instructions are the dakinis whispered lineage my transmission was founded by dorje chang my hermitage is on lashi snow mountain this hill is billing jurka this rock is known as the great rearing lion the place to which i go is view my jetsang guru gave me leave this is the story of my journey i pray you jetsang for instruction milrepa then withdrew all the transformation bodies into the real one and said i did this to find out why you did not even look back at me after you left now i know that you have not violated the samaya precepts since you have observed them properly we will never separate from each other you may now proceed to view overjoyed at these words rechungpa bowed down at the jetsang's feet and made many good wishes then he set out for view and the jetsang returned to the belly cave that day some patrons came with food and offerings but as soon as they learned that rechungpa had left they hid all the things they had brought for him in a brass basin in the recesses of a cave then they came to milrepa abode and found that he was already up they asked revered jetsang usually you do not get up so early what made you do so today milrepa replied rechungpa left for view this morning and i went down to the plain to see him off upon my return i felt a little sad and i had been sitting here ever since did you revered jetsang ever try to stop him from going to view yes i did whereupon milrepa sang Rechungpa, my beloved son, has left for view. He never follows the advice of others but acts as he wishes. He said that he would visit Marpa and Nyopa temple, see Loro, Nyal and the Samye chapel and circle the holy Lasha. I advised him thus, when you put all your trust in your guru, what is the need for Jovo Jag, S-H-A-G-J-A? shakja when you meditate in a solitary retreat why go to see marpa and nopa's temple when you have learned the whispered lineages instructions why visit loro and nyal when you can amuse yourself by watching the play of your own dharmakaya mind what need have you to see samye chapel when you have destroyed all your wrong ideas what need have you to circle lasha i repeat rechungpa our beloved has gone to view have you good patrons then been here had you good patrons then been here you might be circling round have stopped him when a guru grows old said the patrons it is the primary duty of his disciple to attend him your reverence has gone to every length to dissuade him but still he would not listen he is indeed shameless with little consideration for other people milarepa replied pretentiously yes rechungpa had no shame and no discipline to be continued